Hello and welcome back. I'm doing another quick episode 5 just so that we can see and finish tie up some comments that we had on, on our last video. I was showing you guys that you can do a quickie render, or what's called a quickie render, by hitting F12 on the on your keyboard. It might be a function F12 if you're on a Mac or a laptop of some kind. So hit F12 and it'll do a really quick render based on where your camera is at at the time. Hit escape to get out of this. And I wanted to show you a couple of things about that, about the camera and about the light source. Now obviously the shading is going to be different depending on what you do with the light source. If you're in object mode, you can right click on the light source and then come over to this properties pane on the right and you'll see there's a new one under object data. It's, it's a little light symbol. You can play with the light source and see how the different shading looks in different quick renders. I won't go over that much in detail. I'll leave that to you guys to play with. You can hit F12 and change something. Hit F12 again and just kind of see how it looks. I want to go over the camera mostly. If you right click on the camera in object mode, you'll select it and it'll turn orange. And again, you'll see this object data turns into a little camera um, icon over on the properties. Go ahead and click on that and you can see the camera has a lot of different things you can change. For example, you can change the focal length, you can have some presets for different cameras, and just all kinds of things that you can change about the camera. Again, I'm not going to go over a lot of that. However, what I do want to show you is if you hit zero to go to the camera's viewpoint, then you can hit hold down shift and hit F and you can move around the camera and the way you do that is just by moving your mouse up down left and right to pan and it's kind of slow so be patient and then if you hold down the scroll wheel button just like to move around in 3d if you hold down the scroll button and move it'll dolly up down left and right and that's the easiest way to get around or if you're used to say like a first person shooter game you can use the WASD keys to move make sure you're holding down or make sure you press shift and then F to select this mode to move but you can use WASD but be careful because it's not like it's not like you think it doesn't necessarily move while you're holding down and then stop when you let it up it just accelerates more the more you hold it down and it's kind of hard to control so I actually prefer just using the mouse and panning holding the scroll wheel to pan up down left right and just move your mouse and then up and down and then if you let go of the scroll wheel it'll look around and you can change the scene now if you're working on animation or picture of any kind this is extremely important camera placement can make or break your your movie or your picture so it's something to play around with. I just want to touch on it briefly, show you guys how to play with it. My goal in learning Blender is not necessarily pictures or movies. It's more for making objects for video games, that kind of thing. So I won't be dealing with the camera much from this point on. But if you want to go look up other tutorials that talk about the camera, you're welcome to. If you want to use some of the preset cameras, you're welcome to. And have fun playing around with the camera and pressing F12 to get your quickie render in. And I'll be back next time, and we'll deal more with the house and make some windows and doors and some good improvements.